Instagram DM says, hey Kyle, big fan of your work. How do I prove to her that I've done the work after a breakup? So there was a lot more to that DM, but, but the overall idea is that he wants to prove to her that he's done the work necessary to get her back. So here's the backwards ass thing about this entire email and what a lot of guys have a problem doing here. It is not your job to prove to her that you're a man, that you're on your purpose and you're grinding your passion and all that shit. It is not your job to sit here and get a great body after she breaks up with you. It is not your job to do that. It is your job to go and do that and then radiate your self-improvement, radiate your vibe, your energy, and then if she comes back, she does. If she doesn't, she doesn't. It isn't your job to prove to anybody how badass you are. It's a job to prove that to yourself and embody that in yourself. That is your fucking job. It is not your job to prove to a woman that you're dope. The biggest issue is you're still trying to go external and change your life. It doesn't work like that. You're changing your life comes from within here and within here through reading books and consuming content and embodying the shit that you learn. That's how you change your life. You don't prove to a woman how dope you are. She just knows you're dope by how you act. Women are attracted to you through your, obviously your looks to a degree, your attitude, your personality, and the actions that you take in life. See, women fall in love with their ears, they say. Men fall in love with their eyes, they say, which I believe is true because men, all men want is a beautiful, hot girlfriend to date and have sex with on a constant basis, on a, on a consistent basis. So the fact that you're sitting here trying to prove to her that you're a dope guy is backwards, okay? You're, this, like, this is an ego satisfaction thing because you want to prove to her and yourself that what she thinks about you isn't real. That's why it's backwards. So what, what do you need to do, right? Say this in every single video. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your passions. Focus on what you want to do in life. When you do that on a daily basis, guess what's going to happen? Your life is going to change. The things you say and speak and talk about are going to change. Your energy is going to change. My vibrational awareness uh, channel is about this, changing that energy, changing your life in a positive way so that you can get the universe and God and all that stuff working on, on your side. I do this because a lot of people, you know, don't really believe in God or don't, don't have that side. So whatever it is you believe in will start working in your favor when you start acting like that. And that's what that channel is there for. So men, don't go out, don't go out there trying to prove who you are. Be who, who it is and let your energy speak for itself. Short video, but definitely needed. Don't go out there trying to prove to anybody who the fuck you are. You're awesome as it is, but get better. If you have a problem keeping women, get better at it. Okay. Big, what, one of my biggest issues, the reason that I am the person that I am today is because I had a problem keeping women, never getting them. Getting them was easy for me, right? Because I was always confident all the time, even when I had nothing. Right. I was just like, hey, you're beautiful. Like, let's talk. Let's hang out. Let's chill. What's up? Right. And I'd sit down with them. I'd stare at them in their eyes and, and, and say s fucking hilarious shit. shit because I didn't care what they thought. And that made them want to. They were attracted to me that way. A lot of guys get stuck when they go through trauma in life. They get hung up on that trauma. Don't get hung up on the trauma. Learn from it. Right. Learn from it. Get better. Get smarter. That's what my biggest issue was, keeping women. The reason why I had a problem keeping women was because I started caring more about them and what their needs were and what they were focused on than my own. Another form of that is proving to her that I care about her more and, and trying to love her more and trying to get her to like me more by loving her more. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's backwards. You're supposed to be quite selfish. Okay, become selfless when you have so much abundance that it hurts. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. See you in the next video. Everything's down below. Coaching and all that shit's down below. See you guys in the next one. Done.